ladies, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Aquathlon, an event you might not be that familiar with, unless you're one of the specialists. This is a more beach equivalent of a triathlon. We will have a 2.5 kilometer run, a 75 meter swim, and a 2.5 kilometer run to finish it off with. So two runs with a swim in between. It's the first time it's being held at the World Beach Games. And as you can see, they're off out along the beach, Katara Beach, because we are here in Qatar, in Doha, for the inaugural World Beach Games. Being held from the 12th to the 16th of October. For the first time ever. Slated to be held in San Diego, but it was moved to Qatar earlier this year, and they certainly are putting on an excellent show here in Doha. 13 different sports. We had the open water swimming yesterday for those of you who are water enthusiasts, and today we have the aquathlon. Now, those are the women waiting to start. 31 in the women's event, 31 in the men. The women's have start numbers 1 to 31, the men 101 to 131. And it looks like the women are going to be starting just after the men. I was expecting more of a delay. There we go, no get set go, it's merely on your mark and off you go. So in the women, the ones to look out for, it's actually going to be quite simple. Numbers one to six are going to be the ones most likely contesting the medals. And it's the same in the men's. Numbers 101 to 106 are very much the favourites for this event. was talk of reducing the swim distance to 300 meters because the water here is so hot. That's also why we're starting at 6 a.m. The water temperature yesterday was over 32 degrees for the open water five kilometer swim. That went ahead nevertheless. They weren't going to cancel that and it wasn't going to get any cooler as the day went on unless they were to do it very, very late at night, which they are doing with some events. There's wrestling on late tonight. There is bouldering is starting quite late or well, the medal matches are at least and beach tennis and soccer goes on until late in the day but yes there was talk of reducing the distance of the swim and they said if it's 32 degrees or over we'll reduce it to 300 meters but guess what the temperature was 31.9 so that means we will have the full swim distance. That's likely to help the likes of Rotislav Pevtsov. He's number 105 in the men's event. He is a strong swimmer. So the fact that it's 750 as opposed to 300 means that we should see Pevtsov coming through, benefiting from the longer swim. It's still not a huge swim or indeed a huge run. It's very much the sprint distances. 2.5 kilometer run, 750 swim, 2.5 kilometer run. And they're passing the Katara Amphitheater, which is where the opening ceremony was held two nights ago. Plenty of big names from triathlon here, but the man to watch is Emmanuel Lejeune, number 104, he's Belgian, and he was the Aquathlon World Champion. The World Championships were held last year in a place called Fyn in Denmark, and he was the winner. Look out for number 106 as well, to give him his full name, it's Kevin Tarek Binuela Gonzalez. But I think we'll just call him Kevin Binuela. He was second in the World Championships and first in the Mediterranean Games held earlier this year in Patras in Greece. A 
Another strong competitor should be Domen Dornik, number 103 in the men's. He was sixth in the World Championships and is part of the Asics World Triathlon team. But here are on the women, so let's have a look at who the favourites there might be. Well, one name stands out, and she has the number one bib, Antoinella Manak, third in the European Championships last year. It was an under-23 event. She's now 24. It was her birthday. It is her birthday today, actually. So happy birthday to you, Antoinella Manak. Let's see if she can get a gold medal to go along with her birthday cake. The European champion, Bianca Sereni, isn't here, so that leaves... Antoinella Manak as very much the favourite. European Championships held in Targu Mures in Romania on the 5th of July this year. Itzel Arroyo Aquino, number two, will be one to watch as well. She's an aquathlon specialist. There are a lot of triathletes who convert to aquathlon or do both. But we have a lot of aquathlon specialists with us. Maharita Krilova, number three, seventh in the European Championships. Hannah Kitchen of Great Britain. She was fifth in the European Championships. Marta Kropko came third. Sofia Prima, 12th. They're all numbers one to six, so they are the ones to watch out for in the women's. Then we have some strong triathletes like Zanet Bragmeier of Hungary. She's wearing number 11. Dan wearing number 29, Chiska Dos of Spain. She's an aquathlon specialist. So she'll be another one to watch out for. Back onto the men's. And these are the five leaders broken away a little bit. Five leading the pack here. And they're getting ready to go around for the swim. In there was Mark Devay of Hungary. He's a triathlon specialist. Getting the goggles on. Rotislav Pivtsov, the good swimmer I mentioned earlier. There he is, number two. And who's in the lead? Emmanuel Lejeune, the Aquathlon World Champion. Ivan Castro of Mexico, he's number 107. I mentioned the top six. And seems to be it's almost seeded. Ivan Castro, 107. He's in there now. A couple of Danes to look out for. Nicolas Rusner is one of them. And he's just getting into the water now. Finished fifth in the World Championships. Valdemar Solok is the other Dane to keep an eye on. 13th in the Aquathlon World Championships. So a 750 metre swim. Longer than we were fearing. And that will play into the hands as we said of Rostislav Pivtsov a few of the back markers Lin of Taipei and then representing we have a couple of Peruvians we have Jose Gomez Jesus Navarro Al Kabi from Qatar wearing number 128 we can see exactly what they do they put on the goggles the cap, take off the shoes. Suffering in the heat is Al Kabi, but away he goes. It's not as if he can get into the water and cool down. As I say, it's 31.9 degrees when they measure the temperature. Around come the women. Let's see who is in the lead for them. Judging by the colors, it looks like Chisca Tous is up there, the Spaniard. get a better look at them and be able to identify the leaders. 
They're just coming past the amphitheatre. There he is, the Qatari Al-Kabi. So dos indeed it is. Kropko of Hungary, Vargas of Colombia. There is Hannah Kitchen in there as well. So the usual suspects. Getting the caps on. They've already overtaken the other Qatari male. That's Fahad Al Mohamed. So a couple of Hungarians up there making the running. Marta Kropko and Zanet Bragmaier. And then the Romanian is there. In there was Antoanella Manak. Away they go, all wearing the same colour cap, so that's not going to help us for the next 750 metres. Bravo of Peru. Ada Bravo Maija. Maria Becerra of Colombia getting in there ahead of the second Qatari male. Well, as we were all setting up, we had beautiful full moon and now the sun is rising as the athletes embark on their 750 meter swim. They've done 2.5 kilometers around the road around the beach paths here at Katara Beach. 750 meters of swimming. As we're watching the Slovenian Nina Mandel. She was 19th in the European Championship. She's bringing up the rear here somewhat. So 2.5 meter run. They've already done that. Got it through in a mere 12 minutes. Less than that, in fact, of course. 750 meter swim and another 2.5 kilometer run. Beautiful shot back there looking at Katara Beach where the various events at the World Beach Championships are being held. Thirteen different sports. One, two back markers still coming through. We have kite foil racing, open water swim that we had yesterday, and aquathlon, as well as water ski and water jumping. Those are the water sports. Then we have various beach varieties of sports karate that's finished wrestling that's starting today soccer tennis volleyball handball all on beautiful katara beach cambodian somavate torn Swimmers are going to go out to a boy, 375 meters away, come back round. You can see one, two have broken away, but there is quite a pack. If you can get right behind another athlete, then that reduces the resistance. Can't get too close. If you get right behind another competitor, then that really does reduce the distance. That's called drafting and is usually frowned upon. Difficult to, can't get too close as well because there's a lot of thrashing around all arms and legs, shoulder to shoulder.
one of the competitors there just having a good look to see exactly where they have to aim for it's not just a case of head down tail up see them going around one of the boys as we have a beautiful look at Doha in the background Various members of the entourages waiting for their swimmers to get back in and to get going for another 2.5 kilometer run. Swimmers now coming back in to Katara Beach. And then the sprint will be on. I was saying the women's, it's pretty much one, two, three, four, five, six to look out for. They're all in there, plus number 29, Chisca Daus of Spain. She was amongst the front runners. In the men's, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, also the ones to keep an eye on. Should be the ones battling it out for the medals here and we will have the medals presented today tomorrow we will have a mixed relay race as well so featuring plenty of the same competitors Relay race tomorrow. Teams of two, obviously from the same country, and it'll be 1.25 kilometer run, 500 meter swim, 1.25 kilometer run. And each athlete will do the distance twice, so it'll be twice as long a race. So the leaders, the men's leaders, are back out of the water. 2.5 kilometers to go. There is Kevin Tarek Binuela Gonzalez. The Slovakian. Sorry, the Dane Solok is out there. More men emerging from the water. Sergi Kurochkin. Hugo Ruiz. Portugal's Rafael Barata was in there as well. There's Kurochkin. Oh, Londonio almost had a slip there. Eduardo Londonio of Colombia. Reed, the American, coming out of the water. Marek Pavuk of Slovakia. Poland's Dementia. And away they go. In less than 10 minutes, they will be crossing the finish line. Fairly spaced out field now. That warm water, so it's 31.9 degrees when they measured it, and that was around 5 a.m., so it's probably warmer than that by now. Cooled down a little bit from yesterday, though, which is helpful for the swimmers. Kevin Binuela out in the lead. Uh, 
people are still coming out of the water. That was Samuel Pina Barco. Rosner of Denmark. Very spaced out field. Kevin Binuela making the lead there. Good grief, a bit of butterfly. As the two Peruvians, how about that, come out shoulder to shoulder. So another 2.5 kilometers for these guys. The women will also be coming out of the water soon. And here come the leaders. It's still Kevin Minuela. He's pulling further clear as well. He's got a good 20 meter lead. Where is Emmanuel Lejeune? So that should be Francisca Taus, I do believe, trying to identify the number. Is it 29? She's in the lead in the women's. And here come the women swimmers coming in now. Plenty of the men still to come in, though. So, performing well for the women's, a couple of surprises there. Chloe Pollard, the Brit, was a non-finisher in the European Championships, but she seems to be leading the pack in the women's. But all eyes now on the men's leader. There's Ciska Daus, Kroko of Hungary. Kevin Binuela, pulling clear. Binuela coming round the amphitheatre. On his last loop. That leads a good 20 metres still. People coming in, starting their loop, the women. It's a bit difficult to identify who's where at the moment. Women swimmers still coming in. We're going to be relying on our friends at Bornan Technologies to give us the leaderboard once everyone has crossed the line. Still looks like Kevin Binuela is in the lead. It's a very quick competition, this. It's all going to be over in 25 minutes. Kevin Binuela and I do believe Chiska Taus. Taus is obviously further behind. The women started later. She's on a different part of her loop. Could be in for a Spanish double. We had that yesterday in the Karate Kata with Sandra Sanchez and Damian Quintero winning the men's and the women's. Or the women's and the men's. Are we going to have another Spanish double? I think the Spanish National Olympic Committee should pay me to commentate on all of the events. I seem to bring them gold medals galore. Kevin Tarek 
still in the lead. And it's Mark Deve who's behind him, the Hungarian. Deve still sticking within 20 meters of his man. Will he be able to pull off a sprint finish? He's a triathlete by trade, the Deve, most of them, it's where they began. But Kevin Binuela is a real aquathlon specialist. We're coming up to the finish line very soon. And here he is, Kevin Tarek Binuela Gonzalez being cheered on. He's pulling further clear as the finish line is in sight. There, the right of your screen is Mark Devay of Hungary. One last loop around the amphitheatre. And here we have the finish line. And it's going to be Kevin Tarek Binuela Gonzalez cruises over the line. Mark Deve of Hungary, 10 seconds behind him. Poor oh, feel the burn. Coming in third, is this going to be? Peftsov of Azerbaijan, yes it is. Peftsov takes the bronze. Ruiz of Colombia comes fourth. But there is your gold medalist, ladies and gentlemen. Spain getting a good haul already at these games. So where, where, oh where is Emmanuel Lejeune, aquathlon world champion? I think that's him just hoving into view, just disappearing from view at the bottom of the screen. So, peeling off those kits now. Oh, it's a shame. It's that's the Dane Solok. In agony, I think he's just crossed the line, so he has made it. There is Emmanuel Lejeune. Agony and disappointment etched on his face. A minute and a half behind the winner. So let's see if we can pick out the women's winners. For my money, it was Francisca, or Chiska, as she is known, Dos. She will be the one crossing the line first as the men come in. And there's the winner already. Very happy with the, the distance, original, original distance. Yes, uh, very fast, very fast swimming. Uh, yes. Uh, Kevin Binuela, yes, he is a good swimmer, so he was delighted that it was 7.50 and not 3.50 in the swim. I was speaking to some of the officials last night, and they were very keen for it to be the full distance. And it's not a huge distance, 7.50 in the water, but that gave an advantage to Kevin Tarek. And then also Rotislav Pevtsov, he's a great swimmer as well. He came through for bronze. So the longer swim favoured those two and also the triathlete Mark Devay of Hungary who came through for silver. Now let's see if we can pick out the women. There we have one of them. That's Olga Dimitrieva. Not one of the leaders though. Let's see if we can find where Chiska Taus is looking for the red kit of the Spaniard. 
as the men continue to come in. Pivovarov of Kazakhstan. Samuel Pina Barco, delighted to finish. So, do we have Chiska Taus? Yes, we do. Already lapping some of the back markers and finishing ahead of some of the men. That looked like Itzel Arroyo. Just to the right of your screen, going round the loop. So we come past the amphitheatre. It looks like it's Taus going to make it a Spanish double. With the Mexican Itzel Arroyo behind her. Yes! And she takes the time to high-five her entourage. And we will have strolls across the line. We will have a Spanish double. How about that? We've had Kevin Binuela. And now we're having... Chisca Taus, delight for Spain, as in the karate, they have swept the board, double gold in the aquathlon. Francisca Taus. That, I reckon, will be a cool towel, it won't be to dry her off. Second place is Itzel Arroyo of Mexico. And it looks like it's going to be the Romanian crossing the line. Yes, it is. That's Antoinella Manak. Collapses over the line. Trying to cool her down with water. I think she needs some attention. She was third in the European Championships, Antoinella Manak. And she seems to be in quite a state there. Let's hope we can get an ambulance to her as soon as possible. The rest of the field coming in for the women now. So a recap of the results in the women's. Chisca Taus of Spain gets gold. Silver goes to Itzel Arroyo of Mexico. Itzel Arroyo Aquino, to give her a full name. And then third, collapsing over the line, Antoinella Manac. As we see... Alicia Ulatowska getting in. Well, there's some distressing scenes as we cross the line here. It's being run very early in the morning, but it's still a huge effort that's being required. Temperatures at the moment, or oh, when they were setting up, it was 31 degrees. There we go. So, the Spanish double, Kevin Tarek, Binuela Gonzalez, in a 25 minute time. And then in around half an hour, it was Chisca Taus, a double for Spain. How about that? 31.03, but we have to take off about a minute and 15 seconds because the women started after the men. So she broke under the 30-minute barrier. Wonderful performance from the Spaniards here. Ice being brought out. The players, the athletes resting as best they can. Still a fair few coming in. We'll see the Qatari men come in at some point, no doubt. Or maybe they've already crossed the line. As we look at Katara Beach, which is going to be the site for plenty more sport throughout the day. Wrestling, soccer, volleyball. So, let's have a look back at the very best moments of this first ever aquathlon.
2.5 kilometer run to begin with the women starting around a minute and 15 seconds later just to stagger things out 2.5 kilometer run 750 in the water and then another 2.5 a couple of loops around Katara Beach past the amphitheater and then into the water for 750 K and there was Binuela he was slightly behind on the first run Emmanuel Lejeune was making the running there but then it was 750 meters in the warm water very warm water, it was 31.9 degrees, which was just under the cutoff point. Be interesting to see what they do for the distances tomorrow for the relay because the water did prove to be very warm. We've seen some of the athletes suffering there towards the end. Tomorrow's mixed relay is slated to be 1.25 run, 500 swim, 1.25 run. But each athlete does the distance twice. So I reckon they will reduce the distance for the relay tomorrow. These were the women flying into the water. Chiska Taus was already in the lead. Sofia Prima was up there on the run, but she slipped back, the Ukrainian did, during the swim. Nice to see fans turning out at 6.30 in the morning to watch the event. And when the men came out of the water, Kevin Binuela had shown what a strong swimmer he is. He's already pulled well clear. Sergi Kurochkin was still up there in the medal hunt but he slipped back during the run there he is and from there on in it was Kevin Binuela trying to distance Mark Devay behind him Binuela and Devay within 20 yards of one another Out came the women, and it was to begin with Chiska Taus, but also one of the Brits, Chloe Pollard. She unfortunately slipped back on the run, but she's a strong swimmer. Twenty-six point two, and he coasted over the line. Incredible performance from him in this heat. Mark Devay of Hungary coming in second. And third was Rostislav Pevtsov. And then the women's, as we say, take about a minute and 15 off that. Chiska Taus looks like she could do it all over again. Chiska Taus getting gold, silver for. Itzel Arroyo Aquino of Mexico, bronze for Antoanella Manak of Romania. Full leaderboard for the men. Spain, Hungary, Azerbaijan getting the medals. After that, it was Hugo Ruiz of Colombia. Sergi Kurochkin fell back a little bit, finished eighth. Valdemar Solok, ninth, a minute behind the winner. And 
then look at that Emmanuel Lejeune 121 behind didn't really cope with the heat the Belgian world champion surprising not to see him further up the women's results Chiska Taus first across the line then I'm being given Ksenia Levkovska of Azerbaijan as coming in second and then Manak of Romania third there's the top 20 Congratulations to everyone who completed this grueling race. Manak of Romania, bronze medalist. There we had Levkovska and Manak, the silver and bronze medalists, respectively.
And so we already have the medal ceremony, beginning with the men. The men finish first, so they've had a little bit longer to recover. So it's only fair that we get them up first. So representatives of ANOC, the Association of National Olympic Committees, and also from the Triathlon Union. Two years old is Rotislav Pevtsov, who's a great swimmer. And that certainly played into his hands today, with it being the full distance. There was talk of reducing it to just 300 meters the swim, but it was 700 meters in the end, and that certainly helped Pevtsov. Mark Devay, all smiles. He's a very strong triathlete, and again, the longer swim certainly helped him today. There's Dolphy, Dolphy the Dolphin. He's the mascot of these games. Gold medalist at the Adok World Beach Games, Qatar 2019 champion, representing Spain, Kevin Tarek Pernuela Gonzalez. There we go, they've given him his full name, and rightly so. Gold medal winning performance from him, and no mistake, he was sixth or seventh at the end of the first run, but distanced the pack on that swim of 700 meters and then he certainly got the wind in his sails for the second run and there was to be no catching him a gold medal and a dolphy for kevin binuela Gold for Spain, silver for Hungary, bronze for Azerbaijan. Up you get on the top step of the podium, fellas. There we go. Mark Depay on the left. On the right, Rotislav Pevtsov. And in the middle, the gold medal winner. Kevin Binuela. Oh, be careful, Mark Depay. Don't slip off that podium.
That's the men's medal ceremony. The women's will follow without too much delay.
And now the women's ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, victory ceremony for the Anna Born Beach Games Qatar 2019 Aquathlon Women's Individual. Sayakum with the Steven Vidaliet. The live the medal will be presented by Anak, Athletes Commission member and five times Olympian and Olympic gold, silver and bronze medalist, Miss Barbara Kimdahl. Lovely to see Barbara Kendall here. She too is an Anok yes, delegate. By Vice President of the International Triathlon Union, Mr. Chin Otsuka. And again, Chin Otsuka from the International Triathlon Union. Barbara Kendall, a board Romania, sailor from New Zealand. Bronze to Antoinella Manak of Romania on her birthday. Happy 24th birthday to you, Antoinella. Senya Levkovska, one of the oldest people in the field. She's the second oldest, actually. And it was her birthday yesterday. She turned 30 yesterday. So how about that, ushering in your 30s with a silver medal at the Anok Beach Games. So happy birthday to you. And let's make it a Spanish double after Kevin Binuela in the men's. Chisca Taus, 27 years old and one of the standout performers in Aquathlon. She was already among the favourites before we even started. And she took this competition by the scruff of the neck, leading almost from start to finish. Now, after twice yesterday in the karate, we're going to have it twice today in the aquathlon. It's the Spanish national anthem. Well, I've commentated on four events so far at these beach games. Men's and women's karate and men's and women's aquathlon. And I've seen four Spanish gold medals. How about that? Gold for Spain, silver for Azerbaijan, bronze for Romania. 
Silver for the lady who turned 30 yesterday, bronze for the lady who is celebrating her 24th birthday today. How about that? That's a beautiful podium. <laughs> Following the enchanting opening ceremony on Saturday night, Doha awoke to bright blue skies and excitement aplenty for the first morning of medal action. The majestic landscape of Doha provided the perfect backdrop to the first Anak World Beach Games as the modern city's skyscrapers and beach sports venues sparkled in the sunshine. This exotic mixture of old and new Doha beckoned athletes and spectators alike to the attractive blue look of the games, and there was no better view of the setting than from the window of a Qatar Airways jet. The calm waters of the Gulf reflected the laid-back atmosphere of this beach and sea sports carnival, guaranteeing family fun through the closing ceremony on October 16th. The first gold medals of the first Anak World Beach Games were handed out on Sunday morning at the open water swimming venue at Katara Beach. Italy's 22-year-old Marcelo Guidi had the honor of winning the first gold medal in the history of the Anak World Beach Games when he came home first in the men's 5-kilometer race in 55 minutes and 25 seconds. Russia's Denis Adiv took the silver in 55 minutes and 26 seconds, just one second behind the Soren Messner of Germany who won the bronze medal. In the women's race, Brazil's Ana Suarez won the gold medal in 59 minutes 51 seconds. The 27-year-old Brazilian finished one second ahead of China's Rio 2016 Olympian Hu Yawen in 59.52 seconds. Germany's Leonie Beck took the bronze medal with a time of 59 minutes 53 seconds, just two seconds behind the new champion. Unfair advantage. Still seems to be Marcello Guidi of Italy leading the Anna de Jesus Suarez of Brazil amongst the leaders. And I do believe it was Anna de Jesus Suarez. Wait for the confirmation. I'm pretty sure it's Anna de Jesus Suarez the line first followed by Beck and Wunham for Germany.